Hello everybody, it's Silvershim, and welcome back to more Pokey Part 2 Wonders Beyond. In the last episode, we went through the tech area befriending more Pokemon, then learned that we will need a lot of energy to power Reuniclus' machine and break the deep black orb. This time, we're going to follow Oshawott's advice and talk to Samrod about it. What, a Pokemon that whips up the wind? That would be Tornadus, who would have guessed? He's very wild. Legends say an ancient area keeper sealed his power in a shrine, but you can chant a spell to call him. I think it goes like this. When the wind whips past with a wild whoosh, Tornadus is here. You think it goes like that? Thank you, sir. Call him a heap, but this time it's actually accurate since Tornadus thunders and landers. Oh. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have said <laughs> that at all if their names out loud, but you know who they are, and if you don't know who they are, then what I just said means absolutely nothing to you. Anyway, there's a few legendary Pokemon that have genders. In this case, they're all male. The only legendary Pokemon that can be either male or female is Heatran. Just a bit of trivia. Okay, Vast White Quill over there, just snivy to get up here, and Tepig to break through this boulder. And I'll switch back to Snivy. And there's another Vast White Quill right here. I believe I have, wow, 29 of those. Maybe I will go ahead and see if I can grab all 40. Doesn't seem like it would be too much of a burden. So, there's this um, shrine with a picture of a Pokemon on it. Check it, and... Let's chant the spell! When the wind whips past with a wild whoosh, Tornadus is here! Tornadus! 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 And here he is, Tornadus. So you're the ones who called. What in the world do you want? You cause amazing winds, right? We need your powers. Can you come with us to the Scientorium in the tech area? Hmm, I don't mind the compliment, but there's a better way to ask. How about it, Runt? Can you make your request in the right way? Please, Mr. Tornadus. Okay, well then, let's have a little competition. No one has called me in a long time, and I've been bored. If you can catch me in chase, I'd be willing to help you out. How about it? Sure. Let's move to a different spot so we can run even faster. So, he'll just run around the lighthouse. Just gotta catch up with him. I forgot to snipe before it. And he'll whip back these tornadoes. Not sure what that move It looks like a leaf tornado, but... Whatever. Probably just reusing models. And what I found is that when he whips his tail back, that actually gives him a bigger hitbox for you to catch him. Hey, that was a lot of fun. I'll help you out. Thank you, Mr. Tornadus. I don't really like working alone, though. Wait, I have an idea. If you need amazing power, my friend and I should work together. It's not as amazing as my wind, but Thunderous as lightning isn't bad. Go get Thunderous from the shrine at the Colosseum. There's a spell to call him too, of course. Here you go. With a lightning flash, with a rumble and a crash, Thunderous is here. Well, I'm off to that old Scientorium, then. And we befriended Tornadus. Oh, then this picture of Pokemon on uh, So now that we have Tornadus, the next to get is Thunderous. And we can jump down that tiny ledge. And we still don't have nearly enough honey jars to befriend 
Well, Lord. So anyway, he said it was in the Colosseum. At least I think he actually said that. Not quite sure. Whatever, whether you said it or not, I know from prior playthroughs it's at the Colosseum. And I doubt they'd... I doubt they'd send you off blind like that. Maybe I have short-term memory loss. So anyway, you may recall that when we befriended Mandibuzz, she took us to her shrine. And that's where we've got to go. And... Well, we've seen this animation. It's really nothing big. Uh... So here's the shrine for Thunderous. Now, before I call him... Look back here. Doesn't seem like there could be anything here, right? Well... Let me say the, sp the spell this time. If the wind blows... Uh, that's the spell for Tornadus. Well, it would have been if you'd gotten it right. Oh, oops, that was the wrong one. What was it now? With a lightning flash, with a rumble and a crash, Thunderous is here! Somebody please explain to me how he could have possibly fit behind there. Who woke me from such a great nap? I'm so sorry. Tornadus told us you'd help us with your thunder power. What? That Tornadus just offered my help without even asking me? Well, if you're having trouble, I can help you out, sure. But I need to wake up a little first. How about a lively game of chase? If you beat me, I'll go wherever you need me to go. Let's move so we have more room to run. And we're headed into the Colosseum itself, which for whatever reason is now devoid of other Pokemon. And I think the gate to the Colosseum was actually closed. He uses those Electro Balls, but as you saw, I was able to hit his tail when he whipped it back. Okay, I'll help you as promised. And I've befriended Thunderous. And we're not even ten minutes into the video. Jeez. Thank you, Thunderous. But if it's just Tornadus and me, we sometimes get carried away. And if we get to fighting and there's nobody to stop us, that's bad news. Go to the shrine in the arcane area and awaken the power of the land. Go get Landorus. Here's the spell for calling him. When the ground sounds a rumbling roar, Landorus is here. Well then, I'll be in the Scientorium, or whatever it was. The Arcane area is just past Verdant Court in the Arbor area. The bridge is out, but let's go have a look. So, as you recall, we already asked Queen Superior about it, and she sent Timber to fix the bridge. No way he could have fit back here. So now we have two reasons to head into the Arcane area. To awaken Reshiram, and to awaken Landorus. Okay, what you got, Deli Bird? Whetstone. And three gleaming coins. Uh, here. Have I really never been up here? Whatever, grab the vast white quill. And got, got a ton more berries. Okay. It's back to Verdant Court. Yeah, I recommend you talk to Queen Superior early in this, like I did, so... By the time you get to this point, Timber should have the bridge fixed.
Okay, we've already befriended everyone around here. Well, not quite, because you'll see... <laughs> I did befriend Sadak, right? Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh, dunce. Got two honey jars. Grab some more berries while we're... Grab some more berries while we're here. And, yep, Timber's got the bridge fixed. Want to go to the arcane area? I just fixed up the bridge. Isn't it great when things like this are used for a long time? I'm going to polish my skills and make a lot of stuff. See you. And thus, Timber's importance to the story has come to an end. Add one more fast right quill. And right here is the... Final evolution of the Venipede line. We fought Venipede and chased Whirlipede. And now it's time to take on Scolipede. I was enjoying the quiet, but now the bridge has been fixed. Well, that's fine. Do you want to battle? Here I come. Bug and poison type, just like it's pre-evolutions. Tapping's your best bet. So, he's got a... Pretty harsh steamroll attack, and if you're up close... I'll just slam his head into the ground. Not sure what that would be. Megahorn or something? Wow, that did a lot. <laughs> Giant centipede taken down by a little piglet. This power. By any chance, are you the Electro Collectors? I didn't expect to meet you here. Please battle me again. And befriended Scolipede. Ah, uh, what's in this crate? Ah, uh, just a ball. Oh, uh, I don't think I've ever showed this off. If you, if you take a ball and either throw or kick it into one of these goals. Ah. Uh, Well, people are pretty Pokemon are pretty aggressive with balls. Uh Okay, the audio is kind of glitching out. Anyway, here's a new Pokemon. It's uh it's a Burmy. You notice my existence, here's something. I don't know if this is actually happening in the recording, but uh jeez. Mm. Oh, well, it's not a big deal. You noticed my existence here or something. Looking at your face closely, you have a very intriguing face. You remind me of a Pokemon I used to know. He had a lightning tail and a smiling face, and he was always pleasant. And this is the same even if you're a Pikachu. Okay, be my friend. And befriended Burmy. I came from far away. That place is also called Poke Park, but it is very different from here. This poke park is also very comfortable. Burmy, Burmy. And if Duck them again, I used to live in a treehouse. So yeah, this is in fact the Burmy from the first Pokemon game. A uh, nice detail. By the way, something I feel like I would want to mention is that for whatever reason, Tornadus is the only pure flying type Pokemon in existence. All others have secondary types. In the area ahead, the source of the water flowed through Poke Park. And now to enter the final area of the game, and it's the... It's the part of the Frenzis that we're never able to access up until we get into it. Go to Lakeshore in the Arcane area. Yes! Okay, this audio problem is starting to get a bit concerning. I still don't know if it's going to come out in the... Come out like this in the recording. Which is a shame, because this place's music is pretty great. And here it is. Arcane Area Lakeshore. Now there are tons... There are tons of... New Pokemon here, but for the sake of this video, I'm actually going to ignore them. And go right for Landorus's Shrine. 
So I choose Oshawott. And it's right over here. This is the shrine, right? I'll chant the spell. Oh, Landorus, hear my words. Appear before us now, the voice of the land. Knock it off. Just say it right. Oh, I was just trying to build some atmosphere. Fine. When the ground sounds a rumbling roar, Landorus is here. Getting on my nerves. And if this really isn't coming out in the recording, I'm just sounding weird. Who disturbs my peace and quiet? Who has summoned me? <clears throat> I see, naturally. Sheesh, our bad. Mind your peace until I've spoken. What claim do you have on me? What? Thunder is said to come and get me? I have him to thank for a perpetual storm of trouble. Gah, on and on, round and round. Looks to me like my power is needed. You can't just rent my help, though. First, defeat me in battle, then I'll help you out. Why, he does battle, and the other two chase uh, is beyond me. Let's find a place where we can cut loose. So, he's a grounded flying type, Asha Watts. Best against him. Though, with a few razor shells, you can always knock him into the water. He's got what appears to be this earthquake attack, and I'll also just whip you with his tail. Oh, come on! Seriously, that wasn't enough to send him in. I guess we'll beat him the old-fashioned way. Not a problem. I didn't think I'd lose. Still, a deal's a deal. I'll come along and help you guys out. Thank you, Landorus. Please join the others at the Scientorium. The Scientorium, you say? Very well. I'll make my way there at once. And befriended Landorus. The trio is on our side. Okay, we should head to the Scientorium, too. Well, we're actually not going to do that in the next episode, because we have a whole area to explore and new Pokemon to befriend. Which we'll be doing next time on Poke Park 2 Wonders Beyond. See you then.